welcome back. Let's continue with our yolks. I have removed the muslin from the form and I've transferred all this information onto dotted paper. To cut to the chase, I've done this already. If you don't know how to do this or you forgot, if you want to refresh your memory in my pattern making and draping courses, it explains how to do that. So here's my front yoke, CF means center front. And I've done the same thing for the back. Here's my muslin, there's my dotted paper. Now, how do we eliminate that shoulder seam? I'm gonna show you two quick ways. One is to take my front shoulder seam and place it on top of the back. Now, here's the mistake that some students make at first. Some students will place it like that. Now watch, this is important. This is your shoulder seam right here for the back, and this is the shoulder seam for the front. You want to put shoulder seam on top of shoulder seam, very important. In other words, it looks like that. They overlap each other. Another simpler way is to take the seam allowance of the front yoke, fold the seam allowance under, and place it on top of the back like that and then use a little bit of scotch tape and we're going to tape the two seams together like so okay there you go so we have now eliminated the shoulder seam. In other words, pretend that this seam was never there. This is now one piece and there you have it. If this was a solid color, in other words, it was all white, all black, or all red, or pink, yellow, green, whatever, it was one color, you're pretty much done. But what if the fabric had a certain pattern? For example, stripes. Here is a striped dress. And here's our back yoke. <clears throat> Notice that the yoke from the back continues onto the front. Now, your shoulder line is somewhere here, and the yoke line is past the shoulder onto the front section. For the purpose of this exercise, I've taken my dotted paper and I've drawn some lines, like stripes, like a fabric that has stripes, and you can see that the yoke starts from the back, goes onto the front, this is all one piece, and the stripes end up looking like that, which is fine, nothing wrong with that. It's one way to handle a design like this. Another possibility is to put the stripes horizontally in the front and again no sight no shoulder seam one continuous piece look what happens to the back yoke and the stripes so that's another option well what if you didn't like any of those options you say well I want this back yoke the stripes to go in this direction and I want the front yoke, the stripes to go in this direction. That's okay, you can do that. Uh, in this case though, you do need a shoulder seam because the stripes are going in all different directions, you see. I'm showing you different options because when you're dealing with a yoke and stripes, you have options. You can get really creative with it. So. Have fun with it. Welcome to Fashion Premier Academy. I will see you in class.